Hey everybody, I'm Shane from Admin Arsenal. This is Jeremy from, you know, Policy Pack, uh, GP Answers. You guys know this guy. He's a hero. What are we gonna do today, buddy? Today, we're gonna have you deploy any version of Java. We already have Java 8, update 25 queued and ready to go. You're gonna deploy that using PDQ, and I am going to manage the heck out of it using Policy Pack. Awesome. That's the goal. Awesome. Um, once again, I'm just gonna type in the name since for, for the demonstration purposes. Yep. And uh, computer one okay? Yeah, sounds good. <clears throat> So we're gonna push out Java 8 update 25 now. Uh, obviously there are later updates as they come out. You yep. guys stay on top of that? Generally we do. And so the idea is uh, if there's a new version of Java or Flash or Firefox, the pack will either continue to work or will spruce up an existing pack to give you a new pack. Okay, yep. well while this is happening, what do you uh, do any, do you wanna set up anything? Yeah, while we're waiting? I'll tell you, the kinds of things people call us for a lot, and you tell me if you have these problems too, well, let's start off with, Manage the heck out of Java with. Ah, oh, see that's that's a bug in uh, the GPMC actually. Java with policy pack. There's a fix for that. I have it on my blog. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're gonna go ahead and create a new GPO and okay. link it. And then what we're gonna do? What we're gonna actually manage are three kind of important topics. Topic number one, we'll say. Um, reduce the ability for Java to self-update, that annoying pop-up thing that can happen from time to time. The second thing we're gonna do is uh, make maybe make it high security. Okay. And then the third thing we're gonna do is reduce the ability for regular people to change their own Java site exceptions list. Now what about those, like I've got some users that have to have administrative rights yep. and they like to be pesky. They like to go in there and change things. Well, we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna do our best to make it at least Pretty freaking annoying for them. So I like, I like the way you think, sir. So we'll go to computer side policy pack. We'll die down under application settings manager, and we've got, like I said, more than pre 400 pre-configured packs. So we're going to go ahead and pick the Oracle Java 8.25 pack, and it's as simple as point and shoot. So for update, let's say we don't want to check for updates automatically. Okay. We want to make it so that smart admins use a tool like yours to do the updates when they see fit, not when Java sees fit. We'll go to security and change this from high to very high. Okay. And then lastly, here we're going to, oh, oh, and I forgot, we also want to lock down this setting using the system-wide config file, so at least we make it you know, a lot harder. And then lastly, we're going to use this thing called the, site, the Java site exceptions list. Now there's two ways you can use this. The first way is mode replace. If they've already got something that they've done, just smash over it with what you want to do here. Mm -hmm. Choice two is you can change this to mode merge. And mode merge will say, if they've already got a list and you've got a list, combine the two. Okay. But let's say you- I don't want to do that. No, I want, want to replace. That's of course I'm you do. The, I'm the admin. You're in charge, not them. And we're driving in these two settings, policy pack and GP answers in here. Perfect. But wait, there's more. We can say, even if a user tries to be super naughty, perform ACL lockdown, thus taking ownership of that file so the user can't work around your That's settings. That's the Java, the site exceptions file. Yep, exactly right. We'll just click okay and that's it. That's literally all there is to it. Um, you can do just about everything in Java, but we're just doing those three things. So let's let's see if we hit the goal. We'll, let's take a look and just see if Java's there first. Okay, we'll go to programs. You got it. You got it. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just go to any old command prompt and run GP update. You could just wait to log on the first time. You could reboot the computer. You could just chill out for a while and group policy will naturally apply. I'm just running GP update to accelerate the hands of time here a little okay. bit. Yeah. We'll wait for this to finish. That's it. We'll go ahead and close the window here. Oh, but wait a minute. You told me. Yeah, you're right. Because uh, we, we were talking about this. I in, the, in my package, I like to force my Java install into the JRE8 folder, not per Not update. the standard folder. So the good news is that we can make policy pack try anyway by doing what's called predefined item level targeting off. In other words, if we don't see the package where we think it's gonna be, just try anyway, because that's- You may as well call that Shane mode. Shane mode. I'm, I think you've now embedded your stuff in my product. <laughs> All right, we're in GP update again, and then we'll make sure that it works. I love that video you did on showing how this does not close a remote desktop session with uh, when you do GP update. Is that great? That was fantastic. Totally if you haven't seen that, look for that video. Folks. Worth the price of admission right there, right? So we'll go ahead and we'll click Java here and we we'll go to, well, first no update tab. That's important. Mm -hmm. Then we'll click on security. Boom, very high. And it's grayed out. And it's grayed out. Users can't work around it. And here's the site exceptions list. We've driven our settings in. Now watch this. If you were a standard user, you could click in here and you could remove, remove, right? Notice how it doesn't actually remove. Like that. So you can't you can't add, you can't remove, you can't do anything because policy packs in charge, really you're in charge, mm -hmm. not your users, and that's the key takeaway. Absolutely. So 
you deploy using PDQ, you manage the heck out of it using Policy Pack. That's the drill. And you know, that site exceptions, talk about the price of admission, that site exceptions is worth everything. That's the biggest question, most frequently asked question, I think. Yeah. Uh, for, for our customers when they say, how can I enforce this? Yeah, and you can, like I said, you can either replace or you can merge. Policy Pack's the way to do it. Policy Pack, guys. I'm Shane. Jeremy. Talk to you later. Thanks.